Hey guys, what's up? It's the Orange Clocks, and I thought I wasn't going to make this video, but, uh, you know, I just decided to make it. This is my DVD collection. I only have one, two, three, four movies left to go, so this is probably going to be like a two-minute one. And the next film that I own, this is like number 120 or something, has Memento. Definitely one of my top ten favorite films of all time. Christopher Nolan is an amazing director, filmographer, whatever you want to call him. He made this one. Dark Knight, Batman Begins, so many others, I can't um, name it right now, but it's such a good film, if you haven't seen it, it's told out of order, that's all I'm going to give it to you, that's all I'm going to say. Next one I own is still Steven, my favorite Steven Spielberg movie, the three hour Liam Neeson uh, black and white film of Schindler's List, this one was really, really great film that I loved, Steven Spielberg, possibly. I think it's his greatest film of all time that he directed. Um, but Schindler's Left really, really gripped on me. Um, I'm surprised, um, I'm not really surprised that this was Spielberg, but I know that, um, he was gonna make a film like this one day, and I finally grabbed it, the Steelbook edition of it. It's not really, um, steel, it's just one disc, and there's the guy, which is the famous line, um, so, Schindler's List, the next one I have is my favorite, next to my favorite film of David Finch's with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman, and that is Seven, it's a Seven DVD, really, really great film about two detectives, sorry, two detectives, I'm trying to catch this, uh, criminal, um, who's, uh, designing his Murders uh, based on the seven deadly sins of the Bible, or not the Bible, I don't know, maybe something around that, it's, I guess it's something like that, but Two Detects, a really, really nasty um, film that I really enjoyed, some, some, but definitely David Fincher is one of his best work, next to Social Network, Fight Club, and um, maybe so, so many other films. And the last one that I'm going to review, and probably the most underrated film that I know I don't know why I got so many bad reviews, maybe because people have to really see this film and not know anything about it. Just know that maybe it's an alien film and it's, it's just be convinced that everything that they see is real on the screen. Um, and it's uh, starring Mia Jokovic. Oh, sorry guys, um, that was my phone, it, um, it really um, malfunctioned, but I made this short video because, um, Yeah, as I was talking about before, this movie is the fourth kind, the most underrated film of all time. Um, uh, so I really, really encourage you guys to see this one, and don't see it if you don't even watch this video. I don't know how to say it in that way. I mean, just know that it's the fourth kind, and just go watch it for yourself. Don't believe anything that anybody else tells you. Be amazed of how psycho this film is, how weird, how disturbing, and how awesome this film is, so, I just want to make this, uh, one short, so, the fourth kind, was what I was talking about, kind of cut that other same part, so, the fourth kind, really gotta watch that film, the, and this is the end of my best DVDs, and I wanted to show you guys something too, because, this is where I store my DVDs too, and that's it, right there. Mm-hmm. That's all of it. Right there. Get like a master shot. I can't do it. But, um, that's, that's basically, and this is about my bedside, too. That's where I sleep. There's Marlon. There's Marlon. He's always, yeah, okay. So that's my whole collection. The fourth kind. I mean, you really, really gotta see this one. I really, really gotta see that one, because I liked it a lot. Great sci-fi. Whatever film. See ya.